to the other side. <laughs> that was one heck of a drive. I actually We've gone exactly 60.7 miles. Today. Today in, well, in three minutes it'll be four hours of travel. We so. did stop for lunch for about 20 minutes though. But. Yeah, we're probably averaging 20 miles an hour. Yeah. And then we stopped. We did stop and the, there's like a, three or four free campgrounds, really beautiful on streams. Mm -hmm. Some of those beautiful mountain country I've driven in. It was absolutely a beautiful drive. Oh, I, I, I highly recommend going. Yeah, we're, we basically went from uh, Prineville. We took Highway 380 east and then went there. I think we hit 395 for a second to Seneca. Yeah. And then took Forest Road 16. We did 10 miles of it yesterday and 60 today. And yeah. it was, you could spend a week just exploring that. Oh, that you 70 could. Miles. It's beautiful. But yeah, it was it was crazy. The first probably 40 miles, nice wide paved forest road. And then the last 20 miles, it's been it's smaller and smaller. And then the last two miles, gravel. Yeah, it was funny because I thought, <laughs> you know, you start to worry that, you know, because there's no gas stations. We're on a quarter of a tank, so we're good. Yeah. But you definitely want to make sure your tank's full at every stop you go to. And you won't, we saw yesterday four cars, today maybe five cars mm -hmm. in four hours. Yeah, and a lot of those were four service cars. Yeah. That was really a cool drive. I didn't even know that existed in Eastern Oregon, you know. So that was Malheur National Forest, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to work our way towards Vail and Ontario to go into Idaho and then start working our way up north through the Panhandle. Cool. I need a break. Yeah, I think it's break. We'll find gas first, then we'll take a break. Uh, okay. Okay. Sometimes I don't warn him when I turn this on. I just turn it on and does. wait. I turn it on and wait. Oh, we have a correction to make about what we said earlier. It did not take us four hours. It took us three. But what happened is we crossed into a mountain time zone. So our clock adjusted accordingly. We did not even realize we lost an hour. Like four hours. It did feel like four hours. Yeah. It was beautiful with that last hour of one, one lane paved. Through the mountains, it was the hill climb. If it would, yeah. have, been, if it would have been traffic, it would have been scary, but it was definitely worth the entire drive. Oh, absolutely, highly recommend. So, we found a place to land for the night. This is Bully Lake Campground, it's a county park, it's on a reservoir here, it's just outside of Vail, yeah, Oregon, and Mallory County, yeah, right on the water. I guess it's a pretty amazing place for bird watching. So, oh, it is. That's what the sign said when we checked in, huh. $15 a night for full hookup. Full hookup. Um, we're not hooked up. The hookup's over there and my cord don't reach where I want to be. So. And we wanted to park here so we're not even bothering to hook up. That's why I love this rig. We can... We haven't been hooked up in months. I can't remember. I last. forget the last time. Is it, was it Florida somewhere? Or... I don't know. It's been that long no, though. No, it was no? Texas. No, it was New Mexico. Was it? Yeah, because remember we talked about that campground that you can get the monthly pass. And we walked down oh, to the water. Oh, yes, 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 so yes, yes. So last time we parked, plugged yep. in was in New Mexico. Yep, that was it. Yeah. And it didn't work. Yeah, no. <laughs> Something was wrong Stop. with their thing. And yeah. What you got going on there? Maui Brewing Company. Wow. I don't know. It sounded good. IPA? Big Swall IPA. Huh. It's made in Kihei. It's our favorite place in Maui. Yeah, Kihei. Someone's waiting for a handout there. We 
got water, we filled gas, we got groceries, got dog food, and we are now leaving Oregon. And welcome to Idaho. Cool. I'm hungry. Are you? Let's zip on over the state line and get something to eat. Do you want to go to Idaho and have lunch? Yeah, let's have lunch in Idaho. <laughs> let's go to Idaho and have some lunch. Let's have some potatoes. Dude. <laughs> 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 Early industry. At the top of this hill, three to five thousand years ago, prehistoric men had a rock quarry where they made a variety of stone tools. Wow, they had spears and spear throwers for hunting and fishing, and mortars and pestles for grinding roots and berries. Archaeologists have not yet determined when this industry shut down. Cool. Hmm. Oh, cute. Look at that little trailer. Oh, it's got a little chimney on top. Adorable. Totes. Totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. <laughs> it's lunchtime, man. It's alive. Looks like we're gonna be having bread later. We got some proofing now. Mm, I can't wait. Oh, pistol, what's this? What's down in your bowls? Hmm? Did you not eat that carrot? You didn't Did she like... break it up and put it in her water? Yes. You didn't like the carrot? You making carrot soup? Yeah. <laughs> You're a pill. You're a pill, little girl. Okay, we were going to go down the road, and so we we're going to shut the screen door, and clo close the door, close on down, but for some reason the screen is not moving back past this point. i got to get it smaller. Okay. So we're going to investigate. So what's happening is you pull it, it's fine. It gets to this spot, not fine. Oh. Okay, we found the problem. It's actually one of these other pieces. Yeah, it hits there, then it, it binds. It broke. It won't slide into that door anymore. So it's not suctioning the accordion string. So I see what happened. See this? Mm -hmm. The cover came off that, and then it's binding up. Right. It's supposed to go smoothly. Dang. Yeah, it's not feeding in there. Probably what if you took this. this one out? Yeah, what if? <laughs> Okay, so we ended up cutting it. There was no way to fix that string. It was tied up in here, goes all the way through here, went up to there and secured up in there. And there was no way to fix it. So we just cut it, pulled it out, and we just have to be more careful with it. But it sure opens easy now. But yeah, it still shuts and opens. So that's the important part. Good job. He's really trying to keep a chipper mood and I'm like, <laughs> no, that's my job to moose everything. Good thing we're prepared with all the tools. Two drills. Yeah. That one's broke. I had to buy a new one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's get on down the road. We found a peaceful little spot all along the, is it Weezer River? Weezer or Weiser? I think it's Weezer. I don't know. Um, we have no cell service. We can't Google it. We can't Google it. But there's a Weezer River trail we've been seeing a lot of this road north. Um, in all the little small towns, the trail goes right straight through there. I don't know how long the trail is. Oh. I mean, we don't even know. But Could we're gonna angry. we're gonna hook up on it. This is the Evergreen Campground. It's a National Forest Service campground. Ten bucks a night. 
scored the last spot. There's yeah, only like 10 or 11 spots here. Yeah, and they're kind of far apart, which is nice. Yeah, we got our own little creek down here, but we're going to wander over and hook up on that Weezer River Trail and just go for a little walk and check it out. Or Weiser. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> Okay, so the Weezer River Trail covers 85 miles of groomed corridor, crosses over 60 bridges. Cool. Let's check it out. We made it back, sun's out, we're gonna throw out this awning and uh, make some bread. I got some bread going. Oh, she worked up an appetite too. We're gonna snuggle in for the night. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Time for me to break out the kitchen. Yep, carry on. Carry on. You want some? You want some ice creams? <laughs> <laughs> 